All right, we're going to go put a period in this box and click search. And now we are going to scroll to the bottom of this page so that we can choose Roper Eiffel from this menu. And in Roper Eiffel, they just updated it, and I prefer the old school Roper, so we're going to choose that. And I'm going to put in the House of Un-American Activities or Communism. And we're going to choose 1950 to 1959. And we're going to search Eiffel. And over here we have the option of just narrowing by decade. I'm not sure that that does anything. And I prefer to look at the results by oldest first. Great. So if you just want to see what one survey looks like very often, here we go. So you can see here on the page where we're looking at this, we can print it. We can email the question with top line. You can download it as a text file. You can download it as CSV. You can add it to your folder from the previous page. You can look at more about the survey. You can download the data set. And see the question where it came from. Citing these is a little bit tricky. Um, I have an example on the home page on the sample citations document. So if we go to the home page of the library and click on the MLA 8 help page and scroll down, I do have a Roper iPoll example here. I'm going to come back to that just because it takes forever to this page to load, particularly if I'm screen sharing. All right, so that's kind of cool. That's how this works. So we want to use the back button to go back to our data. Um, I have already set up an account here. So you can see where it says sign out. That means it's me. It says, welcome, Michelle Ludula. I recommend that you do that. I find that their password restrictions are really a pain in the butt. But you can then sort of check a couple of these. Let's say I want those, and I'm going to send them to my folder. And now I have additional questions in my folder and I can view my folder. So I had some other ones in there. So here they are. So I can come back to them at another time. We've given this a chance to load. I'm just going to use the command F or control button to get this little window up here. And I'm going to look for iPoll. And you can see we have an example of how to cite uh, Roper iPoll. It's a good model. It won't work for all sources. I had a student who was using multiple questions in one data set um, the other day, and what they were showing was he was like, I, I don't want to create a citation for every single one of the questions in a data set. And I said, kind of think of it as a, like a book, right? If you're using the whole book, you don't cite every chapter individually. You just cite the whole book. So you basically eliminate the title that would come out and you're going to have an italicized title of the book. And the same would be true for a rope or eye pull. Here we go. Download the data set. So that's what this came from. And this is a sort survey that it came from. So that's the thing you would cite as a book. Okay, cool.